Hey y'all, I'm having to film this with my regular camera because I, I dropped my cell phone in the toilet. Yep, I did. Anyway, it's not working right now. So, this will be a little different, but hopefully you can still show up everything. This is as wide a view as I can get, but I think you can see all of it. We, um, this was the original design I came up with. And then we tried several others, but ended up right back at this one. The only thing that Roy added was the drawer on the bottom instead of a cubby. So, that's pretty cool. Y'all should see the sketches I give him to work off of. You wouldn't think he'd know what I was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I just love them. I love the light and dark colors and, and my paper and everything. I think they look so cute. And he likes them a lot too. And it's, everything just fits all good in there. So anyway, I'm going to do some close-ups here soon too. But I just wanted to show y'all a long shot. I know it took us a while to make these. But Roy kept having to work over every evening and work on the weekends. and Didn't have much time to work on it. But anyway, he did a good job. And I helped some, I put on one drawer slide, and <laughs> I sanded some, and I stained some, and I drilled some, and, you know, he does the bulk of the work, but I'm a pretty good assistant. <laughs> anyway, now for the close-ups. Okay, this is our cabinet doors. The doors are made of birch plywood, and the face frame and all is made of oak. I wanted the light and dark contrast. I thought that looked cool. We got enough cubbies. That one put a little shelf in. and That one covers the power cords. And got one down there. And then Roy put a drawer, which I like because it made more of a light color. And then we got that cubby. And the inside of the cubbies is made from sandy ply, plywood. It's just regular old stuff. And those cords will go with the TV when it's in there, but it won't be in there all the time. And I'm going to show y'all something else. Ain't my little birdies cute? When we put it together, we ended up with the bad side of plywood out on these little cubbies. And Roy says, we got to put something on there. And he thought about the birds we used on the chuck box, but that stuff wasn't the easiest thing to do because it was wrapping paper. I told him, I said... Scrapbook paper works better. Let's find some that you like. So I picked this side and got my little birdies. And then he picked this side. See, he got a map on the top and then traveling places on the bottom. I think they both look cool. Then we decided to just do some yellow wood looking kind on the top up there. It's so neat. And then that's more of our birch that's my route 66 doorknob <laughs> i got it and these two up here are used for the top doors all for 80 cents each i thought that was pretty cool i think they look cute in the buttercup so that's the what the top little doors look like it's just one big thing all the way across so It'll hold quite a bit of stuff. And then here's the drawer. It's pretty big, so that'll help too. And that little shelf is where our Blu-ray thing is going to go. So, I think we're going to be able to hold everything we want in the little cabinets. I'd love to hear what y'all think about them, but I really like them. Anyway, y'all have a nice day.